I was working on the ZTR and I started hearing rain and I thought I was wanting to get an update on this power rake hill that I've been working on taking Mr. Junior Ventrack power rake this hillside we'll have more on this once I get the power rake figured out it's uh, burning up belts faster than I can buy them so I don't know if I'm buying the wrong belts or what but I need to clean up this mess right here the hills not quite as flat as I want it to be and I need to get way up there but this is so much better than what it was impressed with the power rake once I figure out the belts so I have all this and I haven't done any videos in a while because it was raining so hard for about a week I couldn't get outside to do anything there was actually homes flooded west of me a ways so uh, I needed to be careful anyway rain's coming I want to put seed down here and many people try to kill this but talking to local to, to the local conservatory this is a crabgrass variety developed somewhere in Oklahoma eastern Oklahoma red something crabgrass uh, it supposed to be really good for under trees I have a couple big old trees you can't wrap your arms around it's supposed to be good for Sun it's supposed to be good for clipping clamping the hillsides it's also high in protein so livestock can eat it let's get some grass seed spread before this rain gets too crazy so that the rain can water it in I didn't want to put the grab grass down while the rain was flooding so Let's get this in there. gone better so it looks like the seed is so fine that little spinner down in there doesn't actually push the seed around I don't know you have to sit there and shake it all the time you might as well not even spin just sit there and shake it in order to get the seed out the drop hole because that little spinner just does not move how small that seed is out I got another spreader. I want a hand spreader. I don't want a big old drag behind spreader for this little seed. I don't know if this would do better. See, it takes a cotter pin and flips it around and actually pushes it over the top of the hole. Not right now, the hole is as big as you can possibly get. But maybe this would work better. You know, you set it really tiny because that seed's small. <clears throat> but I only want to do this little hillside and I don't even want to do all of it because I still got to finish power raking at the far end and we had so much rain even with my makeshift dam where I took some cinder blocks lined up cinder blocks put some old 4x4s and I don't even know what those are 3x3s or something I have no idea just found them I use them to put implements on put those behind the 4x4s and then you see one's missing i stole it to uh put under the power rake when i dropped it off but then i took some of my finds and put behind the berm behind it to try and keep all the water coming down the hillside slope down the driveway hit this and maybe run down around this little gully over here as opposed to rutting out my new newly power rake worked well here no ruts worked well up here but you see we had so much rain even though I had this berm which I didn't put the fines up here because I'm not quite done I wanted to touch up a little bit here my vision is 
get this fence line cleaned up, which I started on, limbed up some trees, limbed up some trees. I can actually get to the fence. Picked up a bunch of rocks, threw them around that oak down there. But my vision is to go from the fence to here, because you go down this freshly made, cleaned up hillside, it's still a little wobbly down there, especially as you go up further. Clean all that up with the power rake. But up here, where I didn't have any of the block, my rain runoff, this was smooth. And you can see the ruts I have in here already, which I wasn't worried about because power rake, clean it up. That's why I don't want to put seed up here. The latest belt on Mr. Power Rake, I put a brand new belt on, started there, did a back drag, setting four on the Power Rake, was doing a back drag, and I made it to here. Belt popped off, smoked, so need to figure out the Power Rake. Maybe the wrong belt. I ordered belts that were for the Power Rake, but maybe they were the Gen 2 Power Rake. I got the Gen 1, not on purpose. Maybe those belts were for the Gen 2 power rake, and I have the Gen 1 power rake. Various reasons for that. We won't get into it. But I did a back drag from there to here. 10 feet, smoked a belt at 11.50 a belt. Your favorite online big box store. Um, it would take me a whole lot of belts to finish this hillside 10 feet at a time. So. And I got to be careful, the Ventrac would work perfect down there, will work perfect down there once I have it done because my leach field for my septic is right at the bottom of all this. So I can't take a big tractor down there. Another excellent use for a, I don't know, what do you call it? You don't call it a quad, dual quad. The, the duels on the Ventrac to get the really low ground contact, ground pressure so that I don't chance damaging my septic leach field. Starts tank up at the left, excuse me, as I'm looking, tank up at the right, and spreads down into a leach field that I've actually buried some of it. Once we get the right belts, we'll fix this, the rest of this. Rain's coming, I don't know how hard it's gonna be, so I'm gonna take a, a bale of straw and sprinkle it over up to probably about here. So we'll get all that section covered with a bale of straw so that it doesn't wash the seed out on me. Let's go mess with that next. Oh, battery not dead. Learned a couple things here. Camera turned off somewhere while I was spreading it, but A, square bale of straw doesn't go as far as you would like. Well, as far as I would like, but that's okay. I'm mainly worried about the top to keep seeds from washing down. Secondarily, I was worried about birds eating the seed I put. So we may break out the second bale and just take pieces of it. Because I was hoping, I got to this cinder block, I was hoping to get up to second this cinder block. But this is where the ruts start, so maybe I just need a little bit right here. I had an idea while I was spreading all this, I have some, it's raining out pretty good now. I had some uh, straw bales from last year that were wildflower. I'm pretty sure my wife would not mind having wildflowers on this hillside, and I'm not going to mow it this year because this type of red something or other crabgrass, you got to let it grow to seed to start spreading. So uh, I'm not going to mow this hillside this year. I'll probably have to go pick things by hand or maybe at the weed eater and selectively buzz cut, you know, like this type of junk. But I'm gonna go make a mix of all the wildflowers I have in those straw bales of wildflowers and put those down before the rain turns into a serious, serious downpour. What I have here are three of these 11 pound bags, so it's 200 square feet, so 600 square foot of uh, easy straw. The easy, dependable way to grow a spectacular wildflower garden. So I have these three that I'm going to use the hay to help protect the clover, but also if we get some wildflowers this year, that's perfectly fine by me. Then I have various boxes of, uh, I don't know where we got these, dollar store or something, marigolds, zinnias, sunny area, pollinator mixes, um, 
some bags of various sunflowers. Uh, got all those, dumped them all into a common bucket so I could stir them all up and get a mix of just various seed. So I'll go put the three bags down first and then I'll put this in my spreader and they're small but I found my other spreader turns out my other spreader is this exact same one so it has the uh, hand spreader has the exact same small spinner we'll see how it goes so I moved my truck can't put the camera where I had it I moved my truck because it was starting to rain and I wanted my truck under some cover I don't think there's any hail I looked nothing on the forecast but uh, we'll move the camera to the tailgate of the truck There's a nice little cup holder there. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Because that puts us closer to where I'm going to be anyway. Oh, I guess I could use the tuck cut. Eh, good enough. Less rain here for the GoPro that's supposedly waterproof to get rained on. Let's go spread some hay before the next batch of heavy rain comes. Remember how I said the weatherman said no hail here? Hey, we're getting some hail. So let's move the truck under the carport and then quit playing outside. I will be back. I need a shower. This uh, straw and hay, throwing it in the rain makes for a very dirty, messy time. So, I'm gonna get cleaned up before we go back and mess with the ZTR some more. I just don't feel like crawling around on the gravel of the pole barn while I'm wet, dirty, and believe it or not, a little chilled, because wet and chilly out. 